What's up, YouTube? Mr. Extreme Tortoise here, or for sure, just Extreme Tortoise. One reason I put the Mr. in is because it wouldn't let me put Extreme Tortoise, so, uh, kind of pissed me off, but, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm a new channel on YouTube. Basically, what my channel is going to contain is some tutorials for you, you new Minecraft, um, players, particularly Xbox 360 version. Um, I have PC, but my computer doesn't exactly run it good, so, um, we're just going to stick to the 360 until I get a better PC. Um, so yeah. Uh, basically, I'll just be doing tutorials, obviously. Um, in the future, we're probably doing some Let's Plays as well. Um, in this game, and possibly games like Skyrim, or, you know, other games. Maybe Battlefield. I don't know, me and my friends will probably do some Let's Plays. You know, it'll be a good time. So, um, yeah. So I started up the world, um, Every, in Minecraft, whenever you get in a world, uh, you'll obviously type in the world name, uh, difficulty, and uh, the seed you want. Basically, seed is just a world for the generation of the world, obviously. And every seed is different. So basically, in Minecraft, there, you're not restricted to one world. There's just infinite amounts of different combinations of biomes. As you can see, there's a swamp biome. This is like a grassland biome with a village over there, in fact. So we got lucky. Um, this is a random seed, so I didn't exactly type anything in, but, uh, you know, you can type in different seeds to, um, obviously, uh, you know, for different world combinations. There's certain seeds that are better than others to start out in. Um, but yeah. So the first thing you always want to do when you, you start a survival world is get some wood. And as you can see, there's some trees over here. Um, basically to walk around though, before we get to that, you just use the left stick, navigate, just like you would walk in any other game. Look around, obviously, right stick, left stick's walk, you know. And, um, yeah. So, those are the basics. A is to jump. So, it's always good to know. Y is to open your inventory. What's nice about the 360 version is you always start out with a map, unlike PC. Which I hope they do on PC, I don't know why they haven't, but, um, yeah. So we'll just cut down this tree. Now, to cut down a tree, don't make the same mistake I did when I first played this game. <laughs> when I first played this game, I tapped RT, and I was like, why isn't this tree coming down? It's pissing me off. So you don't tap it, hold down RT until the block breaks. Don't be a noob like I was. Don't be a jackass. Cause that's, you know, you don't want to be called fat for doing that. Um, my friends gave me a ton of shit for it, so don't, don't be that guy. So we'll cut this tree down. Get some wood. Obviously, you can see the wood goes in your main inventory. And so basically, you just pick the wood up. Right? So there you go. And then, uh, so what you want to do next is you press X to open your crafting interface. This is just basically to craft materials that Minecraft has. Um, uh, excuse me. Um, obviously, there's different things you can craft. Unfortunately, I can't craft much right now because I don't have a crafting table. Well, to get a crafting table, you basically take the wood I just cut down, you click on wooden planks, you just tap A and you create planks. After you do that, press B to exit your crafting interface, you press X again and you create a crafting table. As you can see, it's lit up now because I can craft it. So you go. So now if I press, you press LT to get into your crafting table. And after that, you just use RB to navigate the categories to which you want to craft in. So, obviously, that's always a good thing to know. Um, so, you can see now you can make tools, um, you know, all that good stuff. TNT, it's a fun thing to make. Um, you know, food items. Food is also crucial. Um, I hope my bar isn't depleted for some reason. That's not a bad thing. So, we'll just go ahead and make some more planks. And just make more planks. And, and then what you want to do is make sticks. And if you make sticks, you can make tools. You always have to start with wood tools. You can, unless you find them in like a blacksmith chest or any other thing, you always have to start with these. Um, so here you go. So we're gonna go make a wood pickaxe, a wood axe, and a wood sword. Those are always the three I make. You can make all the wood tools, but I mean, you really don't need to. Like, the shovel is kind of pointless. You'd already have a stone before it. So, you know. And wood, basically each type of tool has different durabilities, but we'll get into that in a different video. This video is just going to be talking about the basics of the game. The basics you need to know in order to survive. I'm playing on hard because, you know, 
gonna try hard. <laughs> I guess. Uh, but yeah, just kill this pig. Now, if you kill a pig, as you can see, he just dropped two pork chops, which are what these are. Now, obviously, this is food which you need in order to maintain your hunger, which is the bar to the right of the health, to the right of the hearts or whatever. That the hearts represent your health. Like, let's see if I can get my health to go down here real quick. Uh, so I'm gonna put my health down real quick. As you can see, I took a heart and a half of damage from that fall. So there's falling damage in this game. There's any kind of other damage you could have in most other games, um, obviously. Now let me just get this chicken up here. Let's Right. So I don't know where that chicken went. He's apparently a ghost chick. Okay, there he is. All right. So, uh, so you get XP as well. As you can see, that little green bar underneath, like the little green thing, like the bar underneath the health and the hunger bar. Uh, that's your XP bar, which is used to enchant weapons. But we'll get into that again in the, um, other videos. Uh, all right. So as you can see, my hunger is depleting because I'm sprinting. In order to sprint in this game, you have to double tap, not like press, but just forward, like a quick motion of going up on the left stick, if you can hear it. That's basically all you do. But unfortunately, your hunger depletes much quicker if you sprint, so just kind of try to keep that to a minimum at the beginning of your game, unless you have an abundance of food, like I'm kind of getting lucky with right now. Um, but, you know, just kill these cows here. Also, cows will drop leather, which is nice because you can make leather armor out of it. And on hard, especially, it is crucial that you have armor, especially when you go mining, because monsters will basically screw you over if you don't have armor. So I, it's definitely a good thing to have armor. Probably one of the number one needs you need to mine. Unless you branch mine, which I hate branch mine, but you know. It's just... So we'll just get a little more food, then we'll take off. Obviously, to attack, just like a of trees, you know. Controls are pretty basic. It's nothing. Yeah. You can also move stuff around your inventory, like by going over the item, pressing A. And you can either use the D pad or the left stick to navigate. So, so you can see you can move it around. Press A again, you put it in that slot. You can put it, take things out, put them in your main inventory. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah. Alright, so, we're gonna go back to this, f actually, I don't know, well, I will build a house, because I don't want to be, you know, that guy that just stays in the NPC village, and basically ruins the game. I mean, I don't know, I think it's just kind of cheap staying in the NPC village, you don't even have to build a house, really. That's what time of day is. It? So, as you can see, the time of day changes in this game, and as you can see, it's almost night, so I'm probably gonna get screwed over here in a minute. There's some dogs there which you can tame with if you get bones from a skeleton, you just press LT on them. Um let me cut this tree down here. Actually we'll probably cut down a couple. And then we'll do I'll show you something else that's probably pretty nice. Now obviously you don't have to build a house when you start the game, which I never do. Just simply because it takes way too much time and especially at night, you don't want to be out at night, especially if you're on park. I, if it's okay, I guess if it's, if it's on easy or normal, it's not like it's a super dangerous thing. But if you're on hard, you really shouldn't waste your time building a house at night. It's just not a good idea. Because, I mean, unless you want to, you know, die. <laughs> so. Well, that pig didn't give me anything. So, screw you, pig. No, what's this? Yeah. So, this is a cave. These are randomly generated in a world. Um, they have resources in them most of the time. This one didn't, but you know, it's what else. Guess we'll find another cave. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to show you a strategy that is probably the best thing to do on hard. If you cannot find a place or you don't have a house set up before the sun goes down, what you should do is. And I probably should do that really quickly because the sun's about to set. What you should do is um, go ahead and find an area, and just just like coming down a tree, you just mine these blocks. You don't need a shovel or anything to get dirt, you just use your fist or whatever you have in your hand. 
and then basically just dig out a room. Now, this is a good thing to do on hard. It's kind of boring, I know. It's kind of shitty to live in a hut underground, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do on especially on hard. Obviously, if you just get this game, you're probably not gonna start a roll on hard because that is insane when you're first starting the game. I, mean, I guess some people could do it, but I'm not exactly. You know. Obviously, that's pretty much all I play on though, because I've had the game for so long. It's just. Yeah. Alright. So, you just want to build, like, maybe a room like this big or something. I don't know. And it's decent size. Maybe. So, we'll just set our crafting table down. Placing stuff, if I didn't say it, it's LT. Just go over a block and then press LT. Press LT again. We can make a bed. Now, if you don't have a bed, which. Obviously, you're not always going to be in that situation, especially if you're on PC, because animals are a lot more rare than they are on the 360. I will say we got, we're kind of lucky with that. Um, basically, if you don't have a bed, what I would do is I would pretty much just mine at night with branch mine. As much as I hate branch mining, it's a good way to maybe start out get some coal uh, for furnaces and torches. Um, it's it's a good strategy. So, yeah. So, oh, I also should build. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. You want to build some trap doors so that none of your, no, uh, none of the monsters can uh, get into your base because that is really bad, especially if a creeper gets in and you are screwed. Um, and I will tell you what a creeper is in another episode, but for now we're just going to start with the basics. So obviously you want to get underground before the monsters come out at night. So that's kind of why we're, you know, hiding out for now. Um, many different monsters in this game, we'll go over them, obviously, like I said, in another video. Uh, for now, you know, we're just doing the basics. And I'm just going to basically branch mine. Now, in order to get stone, you do need a pickaxe. Um, you can certainly mine through stone, but as you can see, it takes much longer, and it's just, it's stupid. When I first got the game, um, I didn't even know you can make pickaxes, so I was just running around punching stone with my fists, and yeah, so, learn from my mistakes. <laughs> so... Basically, I flipped shit though when I found out you can make a pickaxe. I was like, oh my god, when I mined coal, I was just like, I don't know where it Anywho, yeah, you just wanna basically mine. The best place to find any kind of ore is the 12th layer above uh, bedrock, which is the bottom of the world. So that's where you wanna dig to. And you can check that by looking at your map. And if you go over to the Y, as you can see on top of the map, that's 59. That means that we are 59 layers above bedrock. So when you get to 12, basically stop digging down and just branch mine, dig tunnels. And you'll hit all kinds of ores. Probably, obviously the best ore in the game is diamond, obviously. So. There's other kinds of ores that do different things, such as redstone, iron, obviously, uh, coal, lapis. Lapis is the dumbest thing in the game, I don't know why they it's just, just stupid. So what you want to do next, sorry I've been rambling, um, what you want to do next is make a couple furnaces. If you didn't just see what I did, go into your crafting table, go over, and you just go scroll down, and you'll see a furnace. Furnaces allow you to smell ores, they allow you to get iron ingots. Of course you can mine iron ore, but you have to smelt it in order to make tools, um, swords, and as you can hear, there's a zombie, if you can hear it, I don't know if you can, but you know. Um, yeah, so, and then what you want to build, if you have enough wood and stuff, you can build a chest, and basically what these will do is they allow you to obviously store your stuff that you don't want to carry, and you can put it in a chest. Very useful, obviously you don't want to carry much useless shit in your inventory, and you know, so yeah, it's quite annoying, really, who wants to carry dirt in their inventory 24-7. Not me, I know I don't want to. Okay. So, yeah, we put some stuff in there. We don't need that extra trap door. 
probably want to cook our food. We need to find coal. Coal is... We'll go ahead and set our bed down. So, we'll go ahead and go over beds, I suppose. And basically, all you do is you make a bed using three wool, which is drop by sheep, and three wood. And then you just want to uh, build a bed. So, what you want to do next is go over the bed, press left trigger, and there's monsters nearby. And that's just grand. I'm going to... Oh my god, why zombie? I'm trying to demonstrate something. You're just up there, moaning away, trolling me. Why? Why are you gonna do this? Oh god! Oh god! Okay! Okay! Uh oh! There he is. Okay. All right. All right. I hope there's no creepers behind because this will ruin the game. All right. Here we go. We're good to go. So that's a zombie. Yeah. He didn't hit me. Yet. It's good. All right. So yeah, you just want to go over the bed, press left trigger, and then. There you go, you're up in the morning. So there you go. Obviously, I made some armor. To make armor, you just go over to armor, and you know, uh, armor's pretty useful. Obviously, it's a good thing to have, especially if you're playing on hard. Um, you know, it's it's definitely, you need to make it. Like, it, you, you can't just go without armor. Armor is just important. Obviously, all I have is leather, but I don't have any iron yet, so. So basically, guys, uh, well, that covers most of the bases. Um, till next video, I guess I'll see you guys next time. But uh, yeah, so I'll probably do Let's Plays later. Obviously, this is it, but please like, subscribe, comment. Um, it really helps out a lot. Thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, have a good day.